Okay, so with Season 5 dropping in just a few days' time, we have official confirmation that with it, it's going to be happening the 100 days celebration. So the game, or the global version in particular, has been out for 100 days, which is crazy, dude. Consider, like, if you actually think about it, right, 100 days, the game has been out, and we have all this content as compared to JP and Carol, which is just absolutely absurd. But yeah, the game has been out for 100 days, so with it, we are getting ourselves a free multi through a 7-day login, as well as a 100-day frame celebration. The season was obviously being Charlotte and Magna. Now, if you do want to check out the PvE and PvP showcase for both units, it's on the channel. I highly recommend you go watch it so you kind of know what you're getting yourself into when it comes to both units. But again, I've already said it before multiple times, if you're free to play, if you're low on crystals, you're getting Charlotte for free from a gateway, and you're completely skipping the Season 5 banner, which... Most likely, I will have to end up doing unless I get scammed by chat into doing a few multis, which probably will be the case. <laughs> but anyways, the main takeaway from this is that we are finally getting our swimsuit waifu Vanessa for free. Yes, that is correct. So Vanessa is going to be given free to all players. Now, I'm not too sure if it is going to be given through event PvP or if potentially the swimsuit event is going to be making a return. So as y'all know, if you've been playing since day one, then you were able to obtain this swimsuit also for free. Um, I think we were able to get a few copies for him, and then you could get his skill page from Max Dude for free. So that is going to be awesome if it does return, because again, this event was actually really good when it came to the rewards and everything, which I mean, like, I feel like a lot of players actually enjoyed it. So the fact that they are actually bringing this back massive massive w so again let me know your thoughts on the swimsuit event were you a fan of it were you not and also let me know how many of you guys are day one players because i feel like there are a lot of not day one players because like i think when it came to my account i've actually started like i i, I mean i did start since day one but then it ended up re-rolling during season two because noel and julius were like one week apart yeah i think that's what i did yeah i ended up going for like a god tier re-roll between julius and noel so i do not have a day one account actually now that i think about it but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, so when it comes to the 100 day celebration as well, there are going to be a few buffs. Now, JP and Kara is obviously different in global, but it should still be the same. So I think we are getting a few buffs in the sense that um, I believe starting on March, today is March 4th when I'm recording this. I think on March 8th or 7th, we are going to be getting a 50% 50 stamina um, buff. So that's going to be huge. If you are someone who has been hoarding your stamina, then that's going to be a day for you to completely kill the game and just grind, 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 which I highly recommend you do. Um, and then, as I said before, we are getting a free multi and a 100-day frame celebration. Um, and I think potentially maybe the Dicey event will be making a return as well. If it does, this is going to be a massive W because, as y'all know, uh, when it came to the swimsuit event, it does take a hefty amount of stamina. So if you are planning on getting on this Vanessa, and the crazy thing is that this Vanessa is actually insane on a mono green team so i will do a showcase for this vanessa very very soon so stay tuned for that but yeah this unit in comparison to also who's free as well she is actually cracked and insane so i highly recommend if you are get this unit for free get her max dude when it comes to the skill page and stuff you will not be disappointed whatsoever so let's actually talk about her skill page because uh y'all might not know what she's rocking with okay so let's talk about vanessa here real quick and then i move on to the skill pages as well as charlotte and magnus because i had a few questions so when it comes to Vanessa, she's inflicting bleed single target damage, which is not too bad. She is a green attacking unit, if you did not know. So when I first read her kit, <laughs> I thought she was a debuff, but um, yeah, she ends up being a green attacking unit. So you'll find out why in just a second. Second skill is giving herself a blessing of protection for two turns. Um, blessing of protection is damage is blocked and also restoring the HP by 8% of max HP for a few turns, which is not too bad. Ultimate, it is an AoE. 50% chance to inflict silence on them for two turns, which is not too bad, meaning that they can't use the ultimate or the skill to insane, 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 insane. Um, combined attack, if an enemy is inflicted with debuff, attack after granting a 30% damage increase, so it's not too bad. Again, you may want to use this unit alongside, uh, what green but green debuff unit? So, oh, well, you can, you know, maybe use this uh, free swimsuit, you know, or you could use real or whatnot for debuffs, and that's the case, then the combined attack can do more damage with this unit, which is not too bad. LR passive is at the start of the wave, grant protection to the ally with the lowest speed for two turns once per wave, meaning that they cannot be targeted as an attack. If this is against AoE units, then kind of pointless, but I guess if you kind of want to avoid that unit getting hit by any debuffs, then maybe this can be good, okay? Um, LR plus two, this is where this unit is able to dish out crazy damages, and you'll find out how exactly she's working in the showcase. But if damage resistance is equal to 205 of higher, 
Then grant yourself 3% increased damage dealt if damage resistance is equal to 270 or higher. Grant 5% increased damage dealt. And then if it is equal to 310 or higher, grant yourself a 10% increased damage dealt overall, which is really, really nice. So again, if you kind of set the Xen up correctly, she's able to dish out some insane amount of damages. And I've seen so myself. Um, it's crazy. This unit at first when she first came out was very, very underwhelming. Just because I feel like a lot of people did not know how to use her. But yeah, she is actually insane. So great unit. I'm glad she's free. Finally, keep in mind that if you do plan on summoning on the Season 5 banner uh, for Charlotte and Magna, that this unit is probably going to be in that general pool just letting y'all know in advance uh because Asta was free right if y'all remember Asta was on the banner uh who who was who at that time was free um or who were the seasons i completely forgot but all i know is that Asta was in the banner so vanessa most likely will be as well so that is something to kind of take into account okay so when it comes to the lr passive for vanessa is granting a 15 percent increased magic attack for one turn when damage resistance is triggered uh, which is insane and then if you do apply it towards Vanessa then you also grant yourself debuff immunity for two turns which is really good so yeah I, I like this unit a lot I think she's great and she looks fantastic let me tell you that <laughs> so I am very very excited we are finally getting our waifu for free um, and then now when it comes to Magna and Charlotte because I had a few questions asking me do I need Charlotte or Magna skill page when it comes to Magna upon attacking an enemy taking continuous burn damage there's a 40% chance to grant yourself a 16% increased speed buff for one turn this can be good, um, but I will say you may want to get some dupes on this if you do want to get it. I won't say and say it here to say it's bad and it's 100% skip worthy, but I don't think it's one you need to necessarily chase, especially for free to play. Um, again, I don't think a lot of people are going to have anything Magna related, but if you do somehow manage to get his skill page, then it's actually good because you can apply this towards any attacking burn unit and it's going to be quite beneficial. So it's not too bad. Um, and then if you do apply it towards Magna, then you do inflate the block HP recovery to an enemy for two turns, which kind of okay nothing crazy um but the passive is actually somewhat decent again you may want to get some dupes but if not then the one copy is just good enough okay you're relying on a 40 percent which is eh, somewhat decent um and then charlotte here so upon taking damage from an attacking enemy mage there is a 25 percent chance to grant yourself a 50 percent reduced damage taken buff for one turn so damage reduction on a 25 percent chance which is not too bad it's upon taking damage from an attacking uh class mage so for on global right now you're most likely going to be able to proc this off because of the fact that you know um a lot of teams will probably have an attacking unit but if, once witch queen comes out then it might just be like black also witch queen red you know and maybe finra which no attacking units but again julius is still in the meta so i will say that there's a decent chance that you will probably get this off um and then if you do apply to our charlotte here grant a designated ally status ailment immunity for two turns which is insane so blocks the boss while the direction is active which is really good um so yeah that is the 100 day celebration in its entirety again really cool that we are getting vanessa for free finally i was wondering like when were we gonna get this unit but i guess it makes sense with the whole mono green and everything kind of being meta then this would be a good time to release this unit which they're doing so kudos to the devs on that also the red raid should be here um it doesn't show it here but when it comes to the in-game events the red raid should be coming back which means that we do get another dupe for free which is huge so yeah anyways that is the 100 day celebration um this is the exchange shot that we might be getting i'm not too sure but if it is then again we get some free goodies really nice stuff unfortunately we do not get any dupes um like universal dupes or skill page dupes unless they decide to change the shop which finger crossed they do because that would be huge but I don't think they're I don't think they're gonna make it because this is all paid crystals. It's really good stuff, don't get me wrong. But again, I don't think they would make it because it's probably gonna end up being hella expensive. Um but yeah, that's not too bad. So anyways, I'll go ahead and end it there. Let me know your thoughts. Alright, take care. Peace.